Obama was speaking this Sunday at Ohio State University, and he demonstrated his basic ignorance of the U.S., uh, of our country, of how we were founded, about, uh, about the principles upon which this country was founded. So let's listen to the words, not, not the words of wisdom, but just the words uh, that President Obama spoke to our young people uh, at Ohio State University, uh, graduating, going into the world, and this is uh, the nonsense uh, that they depart with uh, from the president. Here, cut number uh, eight. We, the people, chose to do these things together because we know this country cannot accomplish great things if we pursue nothing greater than our own individual ambition. We, the people... Right. That is from the preamble to the U.S. Constitution. So he is evoking uh, that Constitution. We the people. And now he talks about doing things collectively. That is not what we the people was about. It wasn't about the collective. It wasn't about some kind of, uh, you know, Borg hive. It was about individuals. That's what America was. It was the individual above all. It was the rugged individual. That's what America was all about. That's what we the people were. We were we the people, the individuals, not we the people, the collective. We weren't a bunch of comrades like in the Soviet Union. It was individuals. That's what made this country great. It was individual rights, individual liberties, inalienable rights, not a, a collective, a society, a group. It's not group rights. It's not society rights. It was all about the individual. But President Obama either forgot all that or never learned it in the first place. And somehow he thinks that this was about some socialist utopia uh, that the founding fathers uh, were writing about, that it was more Karl Marx and not Adam Smith. Here's some more of what the president had to say. Cut nine. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate, sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. Some of these same voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. You should reject these voices. Because what they suggest is that our brave and creative and unique experiment in self-rule is somehow just a sham with which we can't be trusted. Well, he's right about one thing. It is a sham now, and we can't be trusted. But the brave experiment in self-rule was about limited government and the individual, putting the individual above the state, the opposite of what he's talking about. Who are these voices uh, that uh, the president says have been whispering in our ears? Are they the voices of the founding fathers? Is it... Thomas Jefferson? Is it, is it uh, George Washington and, and John Adams and, and Benjamin Franklin? Are these the voices that we're supposed to ignore? Are these the whispers in the wind uh, that are meaningless? Apparently. Now, of course, uh, the problem is not enough people have heard these voices. I think most people have heard the opposite voices from people like President Obama. But what we need to do is tune those voices out. Here is his final say on this topic Obama cut 10. We have never been a people who place all of our faith in government to solve our problems. We shouldn't want to. But we don't think the government is the source of all our problems either. Because we understand (laughs) that this democracy is ours. And as citizens, we understand that it's not about what America can do for us. It's about what can be done by us together through the hard and frustrating but absolutely necessary work of self-government And class of 2013, you have to be involved in that process. (laughs) So, you know, he's trying to invoke some uh, memories of of John Kennedy, but he's trying to outdo Kennedy because at least Kennedy said, ask not uh, what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. He's saying, ask not what your country can do for you, but what we can all do collectively for our country. So he wants to take the Kennedy spin and socialize it Obama style. This is what this is President Obama's. uh, This is his revisionary view of American history, that we are not about individuals 
above the state. It's not about the supremacy of the individual and freedom of people to act in their own self-interest. It's more of a, of a Soviet-style uh, republic where we all get together and we collectively act in for the common good and we sacrifice our own individuality in the process. And this man is our president. What a shame. What a shame. And what does it say about the American people who can elect somebody like this uh, to run or to, to lead uh, our country founded in liberty in the very principles that our current president hates, denounces? 855 4 shift is our number. We have open lines. We'll go back to the phones after this. Peter Schiff Show.